Catholic Apollos. So today I just wanted to share with you a question that was asked to Michelle and I at the 10th Annual Catholic Men's Conference that just recently passed. So the question was, <clears throat> what do I do about a teenage couple who lives together and, who, and has a baby and whose parents allow them to live this lifestyle which is contrary to church teaching and which is endangering to the salvation of their souls? Obviously, this is a very delicate situation, and quite frankly, I think it's become a trend on Guam. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but there are a lot of girls getting pregnant, and so a lot of teenage girls, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, um, you know, in situations like this one, it's almost impossible to, to seem or to point to people to a lifestyle that will lead them to God or lead them to heaven without seeming like you're judging or condemning them. I've been through it many a time. Okay, like I failed so many times actually, like trying to trying to tell, like give people an explanation for why I have the why I believe in the Catholic Church or why I think the Catholic Church is the true church and stuff like that. Uh, so, but the the advice that Michelle gave to this guy, the the guy who asked the question, actually knows the family and he's able to see them like every so often and be with them. But uh, Michelle's advice was to focus on creating a relationship with them and show them, focus on, uh, you know, building their trust in you. Show them that they can trust you. Because once they do that, they will value your opinion. And that's important. Because once they're able to do that, then it'll kind of be easy for them to think like, well, I think the lifestyle that I'm living is not actually good for me and my soul. So, um, you know... Focus on that first. Curtis Martin, the founder of the Fellowship of Catholic University Students. In short, FOCUS. Um, that's Fellowship, okay. okay. So um, he it runs all the conferences, uh, the seat conferences, one of the conferences that we went to that we just came back from. And so um, he said, rules without relationship lead to rebellion. And I thought, wow, that is so great, especially for apologists in training, because like, you know, yeah, we really do have to create a relationship with people in order to show them that, like, in order to show them that, uh, you know, they can trust you. And that was pretty much everything that I just told you, like, just like a minute ago. Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati, he was the patron saint of the conference that uh, we just came from and he was a professional at this you know his friends they would say like you know he was one of us but he was separate from us and others would say like uh, he brought us to the church when no one else could not even priests okay like this guy brought them to the church not a priest um, he remained steadfast to the faith but did it in such a way that inspired people to want to have what he had um, I think that's so important because if you show people that what you have is a treasure and, and it's it's like the truth and it's pure love and pure happiness, which is God, and if people can really see that, then they'll think, wow, like, I want what you have. And they'll convince themselves that that this is the truth. You know, you can't really, like, just, like, take a Bible and bam, 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 like, onto them, you know. They have to convince themselves first. That's just how people are. People are just, like... I don't know, we're just like that. We're kind of silly and stubborn. I'm kind of rambling right now. But anyways, moving on. St. Paul, uh, he was arrested and brought to the Roman King Agrippa to testify for himself. And um, he, he told, after telling King Agrippa his whole conversion story from being a Pharisee to a, to a Christian, after telling that whole story, uh, he ended up saying this he ended up saying this whether short or long i would to god that not not only you but also all who hear me this day might become such as i am except for these chains now basically what he said was i wish you had what i had except for these chains i want you to have what i have and i was just like dude and, and even even king agrippa he was like dude like you almost convinced me to be a christian like seriously so, you know, St. Paul was such a great speaker, like, great communicator. And uh, I really suggest that you guys read the Acts of the Apostles, even though I've never read it myself. I mean, read it read it fully. I've read that one part. But um, y'all should read it because it's a great, great book. Y'all should, should read the Bible, you know? I mean, it's, 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 I think God said to read it, so, yeah. God bless you guys so much. Thank you guys for, you know viewing the site, viewing the blog, liking stuff, posting stuff, keep doing it. 
uh, keep being awesome. Come to, oh, by the way, come to Poly Clinic 9 a.m. on Saturday mornings because uh, we really, we think, you know, we, we just, y'all just need to come. Y'all need to pray the rosary and y'all need to stop abortion with us because we need to stop this evil. We just can't, like, keep like, oh, yeah, let's go to the walk for life. Let's go to the chain for life. Let's go to the relay for life. And let's go, like, you know, have fun. Like, no, this is, we're getting together because we want to stop this evil. And we want, we don't want to keep be making chains on the, on the sidewalk, you know. We want this evil to go away. And we want it gone. And, you know, we can do that with the rosary and with fasting and with prayer with lots and lots of prayer, going to Mass, you know, practice your sacraments, you know, don't be scared, just do it, just do it, like, stop worrying, stop, like, getting all in your head or whatever, just, you know, you can trust in God's will, or you can do God's will and not have to worry about it, all you have to do is just trust in it, you know, just don't make it complicated. Anyways, I'm not going to talk anymore, bye, God bless.